What to do if you lose your engine? I can go ahead and start talking about it right now. Every checklist has emergency procedures on the back. At least most of them should. So if I flip this card over, I'm going way too fast. I'm going to slow down a little bit here. If I flip this card over, you will see a section that says power loss in flight. If you go through the checklist, you'll see best glide, car peed on, note wind direction, pick landing site, mixture full rich, fuel selector on, fuel primer locked, magnetos check, master on. It's kind of a lot, okay? So what I want to do is just kind of simplify this for you a little bit and then you refer to your checklist because things can be a lot safer if you remember the acronym ABC. And it's that simple, just ABC. A stands for airspeed, B stands for best place to land, and C stands for then communicate and checklist. So you could either use that as communicate um, to announce your uh, emergency or checklist. But in general, it's like, okay, you want to immediately go to best glide, then start looking for your best option for landing, then refer to your checklist because those are the two most, most important things if you lose your engine, right? You can try to restart it, but best glide is going to give you the most air time. It's going to give you the most time to find where you want to land on the ground safely. In this case, we're going to be out by a bunch of farmland. We're going to end up in a field somewhere. So what do I mean by best glide? Every air, airplane has V speeds, right? The Cessna 152 has V speeds. Those are also on the checklist. You want to get to know the V speeds for whatever airplane it is that you're flying because that's how you're really going to get to know your airplane's capabilities and everything. How slow can your airplane fly before it stalls with flaps, which is about 35 in the 152, but without flaps you're looking at about 40 before you start to stall. And I'll do some slow flight demonstrations and things like that at some point um, up in the air. Best glide. Now this is the one that we want for emergencies. Best glide which is in the 152 is about 56, 55 to 60, somewhere in there. So when we do have an engine failure, we want to immediately go to uh, best glide. Then we're going to start looking out the window and start figuring out where the best place is to land. And we are ready to get rolling here. We're clear for takeoff on 1-3, and here we go. It's a nice long 8,000 foot runway. And we'll get in the air and then we'll uh, demonstrate an emergency here. And we are airborne. Airplane's immediately going to want to turn into the wind. And we are flying. We're going to do a right turn and start heading toward Palaka. We're going to start trimming the airplane a little bit. And then we're going to start climbing. And like I said, guys, it's pretty much just A, B, C here. We'll go ahead and turn off the landing lights. The most important thing is best glide best place to land, then start going to the checklist. All right, which is, and, you, and I mean, if you have time and you're high enough, you can try restarting your engine. Um, but if no, no uh, restart or time permits, there's a whole section for that. And that's when you start go to, that's when you start squawking 7,700 and declaring an emergency with the nearest tower. Um, and your uh, fuel selector is gonna go off, mixture fuel, uh, full lean. And another thing I like to mention is you also open the doors because you don't want to be trapped inside. So you always open the doors, uh, fasten your seatbelt, fasten your passenger seatbelt. Got some nice, nice realistic views. This new graphics card. You can see some fields there. There's That's our best chance right there is this field, right, if we were to lose an engine. But another thing you got to keep in mind is power lines. So that's not fun. Power's good, mixture's good. Oh, we're hitting some good turbulence. Just checking the instruments, taxi landing lights off. All right, everything's good. We're just flying along, just flying along. Look how real that looks. Unbelievable. There's 95 down below. You 
can see the St. John's River pretty well over there. And we are almost at about 5,000 feet here. And this is something that you'd actually do um, when you're getting your pilot's license. You would actually practice. You wouldn't really cut off the engine, but your instructor will pull the power on you without you knowing. So let's say we're f just flying along and uh, all of a sudden... Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, we're losing power here. Let's try, let's try restarting the engine. So, okay, we're having some trouble, so immediately we're gonna go to best glide. I'm gonna go to about 60 and trim the airplane to help keep us there. Alright, so we're at about 60 now, we can get a little below that. This is going to give us the most bang for our buck in the air. Now, where is going to be the best place to land if we cannot get this engine started again? I'm going to aim for this field over that way. There's a nice big square over there. And I'm hoping that I can land to the southeast over there a little bit. But we should have plenty of time to make that field. So let's start heading that way. And plan B can be... Now, it's always good to have a sort of a plan B if you don't feel like you're going to make it. Is there somewhere we can land where, you know, if we don't feel like we're going to make it? Looks like there's another field there, too. So much, much smaller one, but could still avoid some trees in this other field. All right, but we got a nice big one this way, so we're going to go that way. I'm at about 55, 60. Now we're going to... We have our... A place to land picked. Now we're gonna try to restart this engine. Can we get it to restart? Alright, it's not starting. Let's just say it's not starting, right? Of course, obviously it's not going to because I don't have the mixture in. Alright, so let's just go ahead and kill the mags. The engine's not starting. Let's get out our checklist. Alright, we're gonna squawk 7700. That's right here. 7700. Let's make sure that's on standby, that wasn't even on. And we're gonna declare our emergency here. I don't even know if you can do that on the ATC, I guess you can't. Maintaining best glide, we're gonna declare the emergency via ATC. We'd say Mayday Mayday Cessna 2437 or whatever our call sign is, and then we wanna give them our position as much as we can. Um, and since we squawk 7700, hopefully they'll pick us up. Fuel selector off, and then this is where we would open the doors as well. Well, we really should leave the battery on, actually. There's no reason to turn that off, because we might want to use our flaps. And we got a nice approach coming down to this field. If anything, we might overshoot it, and I want to land to the southwest because of the wind. So I may even, I may even start incorporating some flaps here, just to drop some altitude. And if we need to, we can even go into a slip. So... That'll create more drag if I do full left rudder and right ailerons. Now we're creating more drag so the airplane can drop even faster. So we need to bleed off some of this altitude in order to make that field. We are going down. All right, now this is where we'd want to open the doors, fasten our seatbelts. Pretty standard emergency landing here. Yep, flaps as needed, master and mags off. Unlock doors, protect body, and just do the best you can to land safely. Again, you really got to look out for those power lines too, because some of these fields, they seem like they're safe, but they have these deadly power lines. I'm going to let go of that slip now. Let's go ahead and turn off the, the battery and electrical. We do not need it at this point. Plenty of room to land here. Alright, and here we go. That is an emergency landing, my friends. Nice and smooth here. About to go into a stall. Perfect.
Alright. Give it some breaks. That's best case scenario. <laughs> because that was a nice, well-trimmed field. So anyways, that's pretty much how it would go for an emergency landing. So just remember ABC, most important thing in any situation uh, in aviation and really most things in life is to not panic because panicking is not gonna do you any good. It's definitely not gonna save your life if you panic. So just, you know, that's why we train, that's why we have these checklists and that's why we go through these possible scenarios so nice and safely in the field it's a good thing that field was cut hope you guys enjoyed and i look forward to doing some more microsoft flight simulator videos with you i've also been doing some dcs world and i am hooked on that and i cannot believe this head tracking let me know if you have any questions as always ask anything you want there are no dumb questions put them in the comments take care fly safe